Welcome and thank you for watching this first review of the Wonky Board Balance Board. We already unboxed it in a previous video we made because we felt, well, it's a nice product, so why not unbox it separately? And for a review, you do need to do some stuff on it. So we felt it was better to just split the two videos up and actually do the review in two parts. One short term review, so after only a couple of weeks of use, and one long term video, which is really important because we really want to show the fluidity in the moves you can gain or assuming to be able to gain. Um, another thing is your actual skills on it increasing, so using it more towards the sport you decided it was necessary for. But the reason what drew me to the wonky board, that's why I'm making this first video. And that is actually because it looks like it's a really solid board. It comes in different designs aimed at different sports. So you have a all round option, you have a skateboard option, you have a longboard option. And we went for the more longboard oriented one because it fitted the snowboarding style, the paddle boarding style and the actual longboarding style the best. And I've been very happy with it. Like it's a sturdy design. As you can see, um, it's plywood, but it looks to be a good grade of plywood. There are, um, in its use, no noticeable sagging. So it's a good sturdy design. It has um, clear grip tape on it, probably a spray on type, but it looks good, feels good, gives you lots of grip. So also very important. But what was the thing that uh, attracted me to this? It was the spindle and the design at the bottom. It uses four uh, slats of wood to keep the spindle in place that allows you to control the board and the spindle a bit better together and that's actually what drew me to it so it's uh, it's not easier to balance but it's safer to balance because the spindle just doesn't shoot out from underneath you and that was something that I absolutely loved about this wonky board and which in my experience is a great addition to it. So you have more control over the spindle, which allows you to uh, try and initiate turns on it. Not gotten quite there yet. Um, it's easier or better to control the spindle itself while trying to balance it on the edges for trying to do a hang 10. Also, again, haven't been able to do that yet. But as you will be able to see in all these clips that we're putting in this, You'll be able to notice that it does allow for just that bit more of a control. Uh, as you can see, the strips actually have a some kind of tape on it. I haven't been able to identify it, but it allows you to get, get a little bit more grip on the spindle. So that's also pleasant. And the design of the spindle actually allows it to roll a little bit side to side when it's on its edge. So you can actually uh, turn it on its edge, turn it completely around. And there's a lot of fun, um, fun ways to use it in practicing. For instance, your snowboarding balance, your paddleboarding balance, even your surfing, longboarding, skateboarding balancing. Um, so that makes it a very compelling balance board for when you're interested in those kinds of activities. So all in all, um, the board itself, very happy about it. I'm a good 90 kilos, that's close to 180 freedom units. Um, so I'm heavy enough to, you would think, uh, bend the uh, board itself if it wasn't of sufficient quality have had no such issues it's been able to take my weight easily and i think the website states it can handle up to 130 or something uh, i'll have to look that up because i thought i looked it up but it's not on my cheat sheet over here so 
there is that, which sucks. But so uh, weight, not an issue. Quality feels good, feels premium. Uh, the spindle, by the way, is made out of a solid block of wood, so good quality. Although I did notice after some use, there gotten some dents in it which is weird because we've always used it with a mat underneath it which by the way is recommended to use a mat under it when using it on hard surfaces and they have one available on their website to buy we just bought a cheap mat that you actually see in one of their promotional videos that you can get for hallways and stuff for visitors to wipe their feet on sorry about that um yeah so Quality-wise, good. User-friendly, yes. Uh, I've thoroughly enjoyed my time on the board already. Um, and I've seen a great improvement in my balancing. The spindle is is, uh, gets you pretty high off the ground, so you, you do need some skill to get it to balance. For first-time users, very important. Um, use a chair. Use something to balance you. You don't want a thing shooting out from underneath you and diving into a television if you do it in your living room or something. So uh, be well aware of that. Uh, and then it's just basically a practice 10, 15 minutes a day, balancing, trying turns, trying to roll it to the edges. And from there on, progressing well. I'm at the point right now that I can do a small jump, land, and balance it back again. I can sometimes get it to turn, but usually I'll just still topple over. Um, but all in all, very impressed by it. Um, I'm gonna say, honestly, the Wonky Board website is a bit wonky. Uh, it's a German company, I think near uh, Cologne. But uh, their website's a bit outdated, but it all came in one piece. They look like really good people. They're, um, Instagram page looks good, the product looks good. I'm happy with it and I hope to show you guys in an upcoming video that uh, I progressed a lot more and I'm able to do uh, far more uh, intricate stuff on it. That said, as a small side note, uh, please like and subscribe because if you're interested in that, then you know when the next video is. Secondly, um, you do not just have to use it for that. You can use this balance board in general fitness as well. Want to increase your push-up difficulty? Push up, do your push-ups on the balance board. Want to either with your arms or with your feet on top of it. There are many different ways you can use it. Lunges, same. Uh, balance, uh, try and balance it with one foot, do a lunge on it going to be difficult but there are ways to use this in your normal workout routine if you're looking for something like that as well so it's a you can use it multi-purpose you wouldn't have to specifically buy a fitness oriented balance board you should be able to do it with this one so um thanks for watching again like subscribe and i hope you guys enjoyed it and girls and i hope you enjoy the upcoming long-term review of this balance board.